Um, I started off listening to radio, um, and from there I, I uh, just got the desire to DJ. And um, I started off doing, you know, Sweet Sixteens about mitzvahs, and I, I DJ at the local skating ring at the time, and just moved my way up, you know. And uh, that's pretty much how I got my start. Well, at the time before there was, you know, internet, because I'm, you know, a little bit older, I'm 30. But uh, I started from vinyl and I used to look up DMC battles and watching Q-Bird and Jazzy Jeff and Revolution and those guys kind of like gave me the inspiration to learn how to cut and scratch. Um, the specific DJ Yanni sound. Uh, I would say to be able to scratch over EDM, house music, along with the hip hop stuff. Um, I like to be able to go across different genres and be able to manipulate the records and 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 um, a lot of the music that not necessarily is traditionally scratched on, which you know, and and put my flavor on it. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool. What helps me from starting off as like a turntablist and battling that gave me the confidence to be in front of an audience, um, just being out there and just being able to. Um, you know, showcase my skills in front of a in front of a crowd that's just looking at me on stage. And those skills with the cutting and scratching, along with the music knowledge and learning how to be a club DJ, to bridging that those two different types of DJs, kind of you know, that's kind of what gives me my, my style and flavor. From radio and the clubs is a completely different style of DJ. Radio, I'm, I'm able to play a lot a lot more new music. Um, different types of, of remixes and go across genre genre a lot quicker than in the club. Club is more you're just playing the hits, you know, playing hit records, and sometimes they might not be up on the new stuff, but you know, you try it out anyway. And um, it's it's kind of like you know, it's a different flavor. You know, I'm on the mic more in the in the club, and you just kind of get the, the the crowd into it, get the crowd's feed, and just you know, you, you you work off the energy of the crowd. When as a, as opposed to radio, I'm DJing for millions of people, but I'm in like a small room, looking at a wall. So I gotta have like theater of the mind and just think about you know me DJing for millions of people and just kind of like you know do my thing. Um, Master the mix helped me out a lot, man. I mean. From me being already uh, on radio and, and touring, and um, it just kind of enhanced everything that I already had, and gave me a little bit more global or national recognition. It's cool because you know a lot of up and coming DJs, you know, saw the show and look up to me, and, and um, you know I always get a lot of love saying that oh I was robbed or you got robbed or you should have won. So you know it's always cool to hear you know good support and and, uh, and feedback from the show from, from you know fans. Well, I started off as a hip hop head, and now you know I love playing you know for these EDM crowds and, and stages. I like to, to be across the board. I like to be able to be challenged in a hip hop environment or in an EDM environment and just kind of like bridge the gap or just, you know, have my flavor come across as opposed to just catering to the certain type of crowd. I, I like to be able to introduce new genres and new types of music in, in, in different types of crowds. So. Pit My Turntables is a, is a company that I co own. That 
wanna be a DJ, but you're really unable. You gotta hit us up and get your pimped out turntable. You gotta pimp out turntables. Damn right. You gotta pimp We, we customize anything and everything DJs. Um, we, we do everything from turntables to headphones to slip mats to um, now we're actually customizing DJ furniture, um, whether you're a mobile DJ or a bedroom DJ or um, now we have a lot of corporate clients, clients that you know require certain DJs for a lot of their the, uh, events or, or these corporate events and they have like their logos on it and things like that so it's, it's cool to be able to be a part of like a lot of the big uh, brands along with a lot of these you know famous DJs like Jazzy Jeff and um, it, it's, it's cool to just you know be able to like create from scratch you know different color schemes or logos and things like that and and now we're incorporating a lot of different things like you know incorporating dicers inside the turntables or serato inside a pioneer 909 and doing things that never really been done before i would say there's two things being from what sets me apart from like the older djs i mean we came from vinyl we, we've collected vinyl and what i've been able to do from as opposed to maybe some other DJs or some older DJs that came from vinyl is been able to adapt to the newer the newer audience the newer crowd the newer music and to be able to imp implement some of the older techniques in some of the new styles it's new styles of music and then what separates me from like the newer DJs who you know DJs has just started within the last couple years who never picked up a piece of vinyl um, what separates me for them is that me being able to implement some of the old styles and tactics and scratching and turntables and things that I've learned from vinyl and being able to, to um, you know, implement that into the new style and, 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 and being able to, you know, to be accepted and um, being able to play all these types of music, the new stuff. So. What up, it's the heavy hitter DJ Yanni and this is my life as a DJ.